everyone, so I'm back from my little break from making videos and we're kicking it off with Tsum Tsums. I was gonna do these in separate videos, but I'm kind of behind with these Tsum Tsums, especially the subscription box. The new one has already shipped. This is the January box. The February box is already shipped. Uh, I did get this later than everyone else because this is a US exclusive. So since I live in Canada, I have to get it shipped to a US address and then reshipped to me. So it takes a while to get to me. And plus I've just been busy moving to a new house. So I've, I've fallen behind. I also have all the new Zootopia Tsum Tsums, the full set. And so I'm gonna go through those. And I decided I'm not gonna turn these into blind bags because I did get the full set. I decided that going forward, I'm only gonna do blind bags for random ones. And anytime I don't buy a full set, I'll just throw them in my big bin of Tsum Tsums that I later turn into blind bags. But for these ones, they're not wrapped. I'm just gonna pull them out of the bag one by one. So I think we should get started with the subscription box. So let's take a look at that first. So here's what the box looks like on the one side. It just says Disney Tsum Tsum. There's what the back looks like. You can pause and read that if you want. That side's the same as the first side. Bottom is blank. And then on the top and front, you can see which Tsum Tsums there are. So it comes with one small one and one medium one. And all the subscription Tsum Tsums are exclusive to the subscription box so you can't get these ones in stores. It's strange how there's a Canadian price on the back considering you can't get this shipped to Canada. So yeah, anyway, let's open this up. This is a really weird way for the box to open. Am I doing this wrong? I don't know. So as you saw, we have a medium Olaf and a small Snowgy. So I'm just gonna get these cut apart and cut off the tags like I usually do, and then I'll give you a better look at them. So here's a look at Olaf. He looks so goofy, but I guess he is a goofy character. I've never had a medium Tsum Tsum before. This is my first one. They're so cute. I prefer the minis, but um, I still think this is fun. So yeah. So on the top, we have his little stick hair bits, an adorable little face, his tooth, which is a shiny fabric. And then his arms are so cute, just the little nubbins like Tsum Tsums normally have. So they're brown because he has stick arms. And then his little feet. And that's basically it. The rest is just white. So that is Olaf. These are kind of neat because they're plain, but Plane's kind of nice in a way because a lot of Tsum Tsums are very ultra detailed like you'll see with the Zootopia ones, but it's kind of cute. Just have like a big white fluff ball. So now moving on to the Snooji. He again is ultra simple. He is basically a white blob. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> he just has eyes and a mouth and he also has a little tooth. White belly, no arms, because the snow G's don't have arms. Just two little feetsies. So that is it for the Tsum Tsum subscription box. That's why I figured it was probably good to combine it with the Zootopia ones, because I knew this would be pretty quick. But in the future, they might be standalone videos. But yeah, there's the Tsum Tsum subscription box for January. Now let's move on to the Zootopia ones. So I'm gonna pull them out one by one and show them to you. Uh, Zootopia is not out yet. It comes out March 4th, so I don't know the characters that well. I only know what I've seen in trailers and in clips and the stuff I saw at D23. So I do know some things about the characters, but not a whole lot. So I feel like I'm not going to be all that excited about them until I've seen the movie that I'm gonna be like, oh yes, I love this character. I love that character. But for right now, I don't really know that much about them. So let's reach in and grab one. There's 13, by the way. There are a lot. Okay, this first one is Mayor Lionheart. He has his eyes closed. <laughs> he is the mayor. Let's zoom in here. He's the mayor, I guess, of Zootopia because his name's Mayor Lionheart. <laughs> He's a lion. Here's his suit. I think he wears a tuxedo, or tux, not a tuxedo, like a, just a suit, a business suit. And so it's like a pinstripe suit. Here's his mane. The back is weird. <laughs> That's how the Lion King ones were too, but the lanes, the manes were more stitched down. His is more dangling. Maybe it's supposed to be like a beard. I don't know. But, um, yep. And then he's got his little tail. Little tail, blue belly, yellow feet. Let's move on. We got a lot of these to get through. <laughs> 
Next up, ooh, we got the sloth. His name is Flash, ironically, because <laughs> he's slow. Everyone's seen the sloth clip. It was one of the ones they showed at D23, but they've since released it online. Hilarious, so funny. So there is Flash. He's got his droopy eyes. He's got his little green shirt with a tie. His little brown pants. Nubbin tail. Yep. There's Flash. <laughs> Moving along. I feel like 13 is a little excessive for a set. I think they should stick to like eight per set, in my opinion. And, oh, we have Clawhauser. So Clawhauser is one of the cops. Um, Judy's the protagonist, the bunny, well, and Nick, the fox. But um, Judy works at a police station, and Clawhauser is one of the animals that lives there. So he's a little cheetah. I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm going to say he's a cheetah. <laughs> All I know about Clawhauser at this point is that he's a big fan of Gazelle, who is one of the other Tsum Tsums that you'll see in a little bit. So that's all I know for now. Oh, there's little badges and things on him. <laughs> so, yep, there's Clawhauser. You're so cute. I like his little round, just very simple round design. <laughs> Some of them are a little lumpy, like Flash. He's a little lumpy, but Clawhauser's really good. Moving on to the next one. Oh, yes, we got Judy. Judy, Judy. She is adorable both in the movie and as a Tsum Tsum. She's so cute. I love the way they did her Tsum. The face is adorable and the ears just make it that much better. I just, oh, I squealed when I saw this. She's even got little eyelashes. Her nose is a little heart shape. Um, oh, the little cotton tail. She's so cute. I would probably say this is my favorite out of this Tsum Tsum set based on how the Tsum Tsums look. Um, I think I'll do like a top three at the end once I've had a better look at them all. But this one is definitely the cutest. And I love her color. I like this warm gray color with the pink and then this light yellowy color. It's so cute. Okay. Okay. All right. I should move on to the next one. Me. Hey, oh, I saw that one. I could see it through the bag. It was Gazelle, so I'm going to reach for a different one. <laughs> oh, we got Ella Finnick, which is the character Finnick in an elephant costume. And Finnick, like when I first saw this one clip at D23, I thought Finnick was actually a little kid, but he's not. I don't think he's an adult. He's Nick's partner in crime. So I think he just pretends to be a little kid. <laughs> So Finnick is a Fennec fox, and here's him in the elephant uniform. Because we saw a scene at D23 where he goes to this ice cream parlor that's only for elephants. A bit of it's in the trailer, but we saw the full scene, and it was hilarious <laughs> so, and so cute. So I'm excited to see that again in the movie. A little stick tail. Oh, I should cut off these little extra threads. Sometimes you get these on Tsum Tsums, just little residual threads that stick out. So let's get rid of that. There we go. And a little heart on the belly. So cute. Okay, next. We got, oh, we got Finnick non-elephant version. <laughs> so he looks evil, right? Cause he's, he does bad things with Nick. They're kind of, they're not like really, really bad criminals, I don't think, but they get up to their little schemes and scams, so. That's what he looks like when he's not in the elephant suit. Like, look at the faces. It's like, oh, I'm so innocent. It's like, no, he's, he's up to something. <laughs> I love his big tail. It's cute. And the ears, of course. <laughs> Next. We have, oh, we have Yaks. And he's a yak, obviously. <laughs> I guess just by the name. So... He's, all I know is that he's some kind of hippie character. He makes an appearance in one of the trailers briefly, but that's all I know for now. <laughs> his mouth. <laughs> that is amazing. And his nose, his eyes are covered. Got flowers and stuff. Cute. <laughs> I was like his little hairdo, his fur do.
Next up, oh, Gazelle. So she's the like, pop star, superstar girl in Zootopia, voiced by Shakira. <laughs> I always find it funny when they model characters after what the voice actor looks like. Generally, I don't like that. Like Wreck-It Ralph was really big on that, and normally I don't really like that. So this is kind of an instance where I wish she wasn't kind of modeled after Shakira, but whatever. So she's got her foofy hair and uh, her little skirt. It's cute because it has the little metallic circles on it. Her tail is adorable. It's not just a little nubbin like some have. Like, mm, I don't think. Oh, yeah, like this one. Like Flash. He just has this little nubbin. It's kind of a common tail type on Tsum Tsum's. I guess so is the string. But I like this kind. It's so cute. So she's obviously a gazelle because her name's Gazelle. <laughs> So she's pretty cute. I like her details and like just her overall look, I guess. I like the horns and the ears mostly and then the foof hair. So that's Gazelle. Next. Oh, this guy, he's another police officer. This is Chief Bogo. He is the chief at the police station. He's like a big bull kind of guy. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to remember what he looks like in the movie from the trailer. Um, there's his badges. Oh, he has a lot of badges because he's a chief. Look at all those. Wow. Wow. Little tail, little curly horns, evil expression. I like the embroidered nose, the shape of it. It's pretty cute. So that's Chief Bogo. Next, we have Nick. He is the other protagonist alongside Judy, and he's a little schemer. So I think he, he's going to be a really fun character to watch. I'm pretty excited to see this movie. He has his tie, much like Flash, little plaid pants, collared shirt, the little side grin with the wink. Oh, my. Oh, you little schemer. <laughs> So that's Nick. There's only, I think, three or four left in here. Next, oh, oh, this is one of my favorites. Okay, this is Jerry Jumbo, Jerry Jumbo Jr. He runs the Elephant Ice Cream Parlor. And this is one of my top three favorite ones because just look at his face. Compared to like Elephantic, I think he's much cuter. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I love his trunk and the way his ears stick out, plus the little tusks. I almost said antlers, his tusks. <laughs> and I like the way his eyes are done, the whites with the black circle and his little hat and his little outfit, which is just one piece of fabric. There's nothing fancy to the outfit other than the hat. It's just colored fabric, but um, I still think it's adorable. I like his color scheme. I really like this brown color and his Tsum Tsum design overall. So this is one of my top three favorite Tsum Tsums out of this set. Going in, going in. Oh, <laughs> this is Mr. Big. He's like a crime boss type of character, but he's really tiny. So he's kind of ugly, like, <laughs> I don't know, he's weird. He's just weird looking. He's got a little bow tie. He's got little crusties all over him. Ew. Ew. A little flower. I actually quite like his Tsum Tsum. <laughs> I just think his actual character looks really weird. I didn't mean his face is weird from the front. Like, come on, this, this weird bit. <laughs> they did embroider little nostrils on that. Oh, that's cool. Eh. So, that's Mr. Big. Okay, there's only, yeah, there's only one left in here. This one is bellwether so she i think you know actually i don't know i think she works at the police station but i don't know that for sure i'd have to see i'd have to know more about the movie but um she is adorable i thought this was like the weirdest thing to put on her tombstone because she does have this big floof on her forehead but the tombstone it's like super exaggerated it's massive look at this it's so big but she is one of my top three favorite tombstones too because I love her outfit for one. I like the different flaps and how there's her shirt underneath and her little skirt. 
and I really like the way the face is done with the glasses and just it's nicely designed and I really really like the fabric it's super ultra plushy just so thick and soft oh, it's so awesome and even her tail has that fabric so for those reasons she's one of my top three favorites so bellwether jerry jumbo jr and judy these are my top three favorite designs in terms of the tsum tsum designs so let me know which ones you liked best out of these sets so yeah let's stack them all up now All right, those are all the Zootopia ones. And then of course we have little Snow G right there. And on the top of the pyramid, boom, big Olaf. <laughs> so that's the end of this Tsum Tsum video. Oh no, Flash is way over in the corner. I can't reach him, he's too far. <laughs> he's falling off the table. So those are all my new Tsum Tsums. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more Tsum Tsum videos and other toy openings, then be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.